Hey, what's up guys? I'm excited to show you the second of the two plugins that I'm launching in just a couple of weeks, June 1st. Last week I did a video about Escalator, uh, the other plugin I'm, I'm launching at the same time. You can check that out if you missed that one. But today we're gonna talk about the second one, which is called Low Control. Low Control does two really important things for your mix in one plugin. It allows you to compress and control the low frequencies independently, and it also allows you to enhance the low end so you can either add more sub rumble and power, or you can also make it cut through and fill out space on smaller speakers and make your low end sound really big, fat, powerful, even on earbuds or small speakers that don't have a lot of low end. It also helps you even out those low frequencies. So way back from when I was kind of a newbie to mixing, one of the problems I always had was uh, the bass guitar, it was like sometimes when he's playing the low notes, it sounds really big and beefy and powerful, but if he goes up the neck, neck a little bit, it sounds weak and the low end disappears. So you need a compressor to really even that out. Um, so I like to compress those low frequencies independently so we get a nice, even, solid low end you know, across all the notes on a bass guitar, and then you can really control the amount of low end that, uh, that you let through in the final mix. And so that's what this plugin does. So let me just dive in and show it to you. <laughs> So bass guitar is really what this plugin is going to be used for 90% of the time. Um, so let's solo out the bass. We'll throw on low control. So we've got two halves here, control and enhance. So let's control first. So first thing is we set this slider is what, what frequencies do you want to compress? You want to compress below whatever this is set to. So typically, you know, it comes up as 90 as default. This is kind of the go-to starting point that I would use on a bass guitar. You bring down the threshold to start getting some compression on those low frequencies. So right now it's compressing everything below 90, independent of the rest of the signal. And then of course, once you compress that and control that, that's gonna even out those low frequencies. And then you can use this low gain slider here to control how much of that low end you wanna hear. Now I mix on NS10s, uh, I can't really hear low frequencies that much below 100, so I'm gonna throw on my headphones so that I can hear those low frequencies. So this is, so a compressor is out here. So if you needed a lot more uh, sub frequencies, you can crank this up a lot. Let's back it off. Let's just kind of compress and control this. So there we go, some nice com controlled, uh, beefy low frequencies there. And then on the enhanced side, this is where you can add the, uh, generate the harmonics that are gonna help it uh, really come through and fill out space in your mix and especially help it cut through small speakers. And there's kind of two ways that you can use this. So uh, first, you know, if you wanted more of that sub rumble and power, you know, that, that just uh, low end energy that just rumbles the floors, um, you can set this down lower, you know, 50 or 60 and crank it up and you're gonna get more of that rumble. crazy uh, or you can set it uh, a little higher up more around 100 or even higher if you want to generate those higher harmonics that are going to help fill it out on smaller speakers or typically my approach would be kind of somewhere in the middle that does a little bit of both maybe around 80 85 hertz depends on on the song I find this does a nice job of filling out kind of the lower sub frequencies, but also giving us some higher harmonics to help it sound a little bigger on small speakers like my NS10s here. together you can hear how it's pretty powerful uh, we have a little solo low slider here so you can solo out the low frequencies that you're working on you hear depending on where that's set that's the frequencies that you're hearing here so we can really hear what we're doing 
to the low end. Awesome. Sounds great. Now, of course, since this is working on the low end, what else would we, would we use this on? Um, you could check it on, on kicks. You can try it on toms. If you have kind of just weak toms and don't have a powerful low end, you can try to enhance those frequencies. I'll show it to you real quick on kick drum. Now, like I said, on bass guitar or a synth bass, of course, we would do the same thing would sound awesome uh, on a kick. Again, if you had kind of a weak kick where you're missing some low end, especially in the low mids and it's not coming through you know, sounding punchy on small speakers. Um, you could check out the enhancer and just lightly. Try different frequencies, see where it sounds the best. Maybe if you wanted to add a little more thump to it. And if your low end of your kick drum feels a bit out of control, you could also kind of compress those lower frequencies. Maybe if you had it around 80, really just make sure every kick it has the same amount of low end punch. That's just a quick demo of what it would do on a kick. Um, there's also some other unique places you could use it. Really any instrument that has, you know, a lot of low end energy that, that you want to control or enhance and make bigger. Uh, sometimes that could be something like a piano. So uh, let's check out the piano here. Now in this mix. In this mix, I'm actually filtering out some low end on the piano. It's a full rock mix, but let's say this was on its own and we want all the low end coming through. Let's throw on low control here. piano let's say we let's start around like 120 here let's compress all those frequencies just bring it under control and then let's crank it up let's see what those low frequencies sound like now obviously you probably wouldn't do that but do something a little more subtle like that just control them a little bit boost up that low end and let's see if we can get this low end to uh, really fill out the speakers a bit more Kind of overdoing it on purpose here to emphasize what's happening. You can hear how we have a way fatter low end. You can even try to accentuate the sub frequencies of it a little bit more. Throw on my headphones again. So let's go down a little lower. Let's try 75. without and with we 
We've obviously got a way fatter piano sound there. All right, so let's check this out on something heavier. <laughs> All right, so let's bring in low control. Let's keep it at 90. Press. Again, just to emphasize here. Basically it gives you all those low frequencies, nice and controlled on its own fader. Right here, you can just decide how much of that sub low end do I want. And again, let's beef it up. pretty much what I would do in the mix and like both of these plugins and really a lot of the plugins that I plan on making these are plugins that I have wanted through the years and maybe I've cobbled together a few different plugin chains of two or three or four plugins together to give me uh, a result but now I've designed these plugins to give me the same result in the simplest fastest way possible I love how this thing sounds again let's try to even give it a little more rumble Insane. I love what this plugin does. I think you guys are going to love it too. If you've, if you've had struggles really controlling and getting a, a low end that just is, is solid, is really nailed in place and translates everywhere, this plugin is going to help you do that. I'm super excited for you guys to get this into your hands. Now, as I said in the last video about Escalator, same deal with this one. It's coming out June 1st, but if you want to get early access and get a free two-week trial before anyone else sees it, then what you've got to do is head over to Black Salt Audio. Dot com. There's just a simple email sign up there. Get on the Black Salt Audio email list. And then next week, which is two weeks before the launch date, May 18th, um, we're going to be sending out a free 14 day trial of both of these plugins only to the Black Salt Audio email list. So make sure you get on there, get the early bird trial. And then June 1st, you can grab these plugins. And we're going to have a special launch pricing discount for you guys that's only going to be uh, for the first couple of weeks when these plugins get out. So, blacksaltaudio.com, get on the list. Can't wait to send you the free trials for both of these plugins next week. If you haven't checked out the Escalator video yet, then check it out here. Otherwise, get on the list and we'll talk to you soon.